Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. When peaceful stillness compassed everything, and the night in its swift course was half spent, your all-powerful word from the heaven's royal throne bounded a fierce warrior into the domed land bearing the sharp sword of your inexorable decree. And as he alighted, he filled every place with death. He still reached to heaven while he stood upon the earth. For all creation in its several kinds was being made over anew, serving its natural loss. 
that your children might be preserved unharmed. The cloud overshadowed their camp, and out of what had been water, dry land was seen emerging. Out of the Red Sea, an unimpeded road, and a grassy plain out of the mighty flood. Over this cross, the whole nation sheltered by your hand. After they beheld stupendous wonders, for they ranged about like horses and bounded about like lambs, praising you, O Lord, their deliverer. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Sing to Him, sing praise, proclaim all His wondrous deeds. Glory in His holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then He struck every firstborn through their land, the firstfruits of all their manhood. And he led them forth laden with silver and gold, with not a weakling among their tribes. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. For he remembered his holy word to his servant Abraham, and he led forth his people with joy, with shouts of joy, his chosen ones. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for His word. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And the widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps on bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her lest she finally come to strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will, not, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? May their brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. I have a confession to make. When I go to malls, no? kahit bago pa magpandemya, I always pass by yung mga section ng laruan. Kaya kapag nakakabisita ako sa Toy, sa toy Kingdom, oh, kaya sa Toy Sar Us, no? it reminds me of my own childhood at yung mga tipong laruan na gusto ko sanang bilhin. No? At nakakatawang makita na may mga bata rin doon ako parang naging bata din. 
na pumipili ng laruan and at the same time, mayroong magulang na nasa likod ng anong gusto mo. Kaya parang therapeutic para sa akin ang nasa puro laruan. Puro laruan. However, no, may mga incident din na may makikita akong bata na parang sa sobrang gusto ng laruan, no, eh siguro in one way, one reason or another, no, hindi pa sa kanya yung laruan, parang tipong makikita mo na lang na magwawala. No? Makikita mo na lang na parang tipong um, maglulupasay na sa floor no? ng, ng toy store. No? Ang mga magulang, hindi mo alam mapinta ang mukha o mahihiya ba? O bibilhin na lang, no? magkikave na lang sa gusto ng bata. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? In our gospel today, Jesus is teaching us how important it is to be persistent in our prayer, no? in asking no? the things that we want to have. No? And in order to drive this point, no? he used the parable of a widow and how she persistently asked for justice from a stubborn judge. Dahil sa kakulitan ng balong ito, Pinagkaloob na lang ng uwis ang decision, no? pero hindi lang basta decision, just decision para sa kanya. Siguro we may have thought that the point of our gospel today is only about persistent in prayer. No? Kagaya rin siguro ng mga bata sa pag may mga pag napadaan lang sa mga laruan, oh, gusto ko niyan, gusto ko niyan, gusto ko niyan. No? Inukulit ang mga magulang. No? In a way, no, it is true na sa Ibanghelyo ngayon, Jesus would like us to be persistent. No? He instruct us about the necessity to pray always without ceasing. No? Pero hindi lang po siguro ito ang punto ng ating pagninayan ngayon. Totoong kailangan nating maging matyaga sa pagdarasal. It is true that God cannot refuse a humble heart begging for something in His or her prayer. But, this, but that, let us remind ourselves, my dear brothers and sisters, that this is not all about plain persistence or perseverance. No? Hindi lang yung puro pangungulit, pangungulit, pangungulit sa Diyos. Our gospel also is also talking about justice, no? Justicia. At ano bang ang justicia? Justice is means to be given what one is due. Ko ano ang nara? Rapat. Hindi lang po sa pagtadelga, sa pagdarasal ang itinuturo sa atin sa ebanghelyo ngayon. Bagkos tinuturo din sa atin ni Jesus ngayon na kailangan nating maging matyaga sa pagdarasal sa mga hiling na karapat-dapat sa atin sa paningin ng Diyos. No matter how persistent we may be in prayer, God will not answer our prayers if what we ask will not be beneficial for us, will not be good for us. Kahit gaano pa tayo kakulit at katyaga sa ating pagdarasal, kung ang hinihiling naman natin sa Diyos ay yung makakasama sa atin, o yung hinihiling lang naman natin sa Diyos ay yung mga kapritsuhan natin sa buhay, siguro hindi iyon ibibigay ng Diyos. Minsan pa nga, no? we might be bribing God, God will not allow us to win the lotto if money, if the money we will receive will only make us materialistic. No? Minsan pa nga, eh, Lord, papanalunin mo ako, Lord. 70% sa'yo, 30% sa akin. Ibabray pa ang Diyos, di ba? My dear friends, God is compassionate and a generous God. But let us remember that His compassion and generosity 
will only go far as to what He grants us is what He also believes is good and right for us. God is teaching us today the importance of justice in our prayer discernment. Ang hilingin kung ano lang ang nara, rapat. Minsan ho kasi, nakikita natin ang Diyos na genie. Wish. Hiling ka lang, ibibigay niya sa iyo. Kahit ano man yun. But more than being persistent in prayers, my dear brothers and sisters, I need, I think we also need to be discerning of what we really need. Our reflection for today first speaks of persistence and the second thing is what are we persisting of? Ano ba yung kinukulit mo? Ano ba yung hinihiling mo? Dapat ba sa'yo yan? Tama lang ba sa'yo yan? Let us discern first if what we are asking will make us better followers of Jesus. Let us give equal effort to discern if what we are praying and begging for will make us rather better brothers and sisters to one another, better child of God. If the answer is yes, no, it means that God will give us no, what He asks of us. Pero kung parang mga bata lang tayo sa toy kingdom, na magwawala, minsan pa nga magtatampo, no? hindi na magdadasal dahil hindi na dinig daw ang panalangin. Maybe God is teaching us to be mature in our faith. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for this Mass, let us pray to the Lord that we may be persistent always in prayer, but also at the same time, be discerning of what we are asking from God. Is it wants or needs? Kailangan ba talaga o kapritsuhan lang? The bottom line is, what we will ask for is a just petition. And if it is just, walang duda na ibibigay iyon ng Diyos sa atin. Amen. Please stand. We must pray unceasingly and never lose heart. Our God will see justice done to His chosen ones who cry out to Him day and night. Encouraged by this teaching of our Lord, let us come to the Father with our intercession. And in every prayer we say, Father, listen to our prayers. Father, listen to our prayers. That the church, through its ministers, may persevere amidst all her trials and tribulations and never lose confidence in proclaiming the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. That those who are discouraged and are tempted to give up the struggle in leading a good life, may find new inspiration in faithfulness of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. That those who find praying difficult may grow in fervor and make room for God in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. That the sick may persevere in their sufferings and never lose heart. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Father, listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. That the dead may receive the heavenly reward for their perseverance on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. Heavenly Father, we entrust our needs to you. Show us the way to pray unceasingly so that we may always be united to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should, you should enter, enter under, under my roof. roof. But only, but only say, say the word, the word and, my and my soul shall, shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Maria, in Panang Amar.